room is going round, got a clear out of town. Smell like a driver's food. Here come the law, gonna break down the door. Tear me away once more. Never, never, never want it anymore. Got Top shelf, week five. There it is. All right, cool. I am Captain Morgan. This is legendary Cubs broadcaster Harry Carey. Cubs win. Cubs <laughs> win. Hey, if you were made out of barbecue spare ribs, would you eat yourself? I know I would. I'd be delicious. <laughs> Top it off with a tall, cool Budweiser. Go Cubs. So the first month basically, of hockey. Done. Good stuff. Good stuff. Not a lot this week. Uh, no, not really. Uh, nothing uh, nothing oh. too crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Something happened this week. <coughs> Something happened. Remember this? Remember this sad sack face? The sad, get it? Sad sack. Sad sack, Sad yeah. sack, because it's a sack. That just, Vancouver, baby. That just felt, just felt really good. And on top of that, in the past seven games, the Bruins are 6 0 and one have not lost a game of regulation since the first three games. <laughs> Good stuff. They're gelling. It's excellent. I'm not backpedaling. Um, I could definitely still stand for some a little bit more defense, you know, depth wise. But uh, but I'm still Team Sweeney. I, I you know I I'm with it. I'm with with it. that being said, in Montreal too, they actually, as you said, defense price being trying out. Trying to get out of Montreal on that one, but I I couldn't. Can't you can't, you can't. price being out, man. I mean, price is out. Lower back. Yep. It's day to day. It's not extensive, but still, when you have a goalie that's you know spearheaded you to almost ten in a row, and he goes down, it's going to be a big change to gel that defense back to where it was when you had all that faith in Price. I mean, they're still winning. They're still go- doing well, but it's uh, it's going to be a lot more strenuous. Yeah, yeah. So um, we uh, why don't we why don't we kick it off with uh, brick wall of the week? Okay, that's like our favorite segment. So, yeah. Brick Wall of the Week. Save to keep it 0 0. Off a skate comes right back into the middle of the ice. Big rebound wow. for Dumba. And it's off an Anaheim stick and out of play. It's Anderson. It's Anderson's um, stick. Who do you got? Who, who, do you, who, who, who would you say exemplifies our, our, our means of a goalie? You know, Freddie Anderson again, who, by the way, is another finalist in Brick Wall of the Week this week. Man, Freddie uh, Anderson. I was going to say, I want to, but I don't because. <clears throat> In Columbus, Bobrovsky. It's like that was a beautiful goal. And that's I mean, I would say that's what Columbus goal. needs right now. Yeah, yeah, they need that. It's they like that. God, in Bro- all the sad sadness that is <laughs> Blue Jackets, <laughs> he is good. He is good, and um, he just doesn't make those kind of highlight saves. It's the same as what I said about last last week about Cam Ward. Is mm-hmm. is yep. not Cam Ward's a bad goalie? It's just he's not always does. Those highlight yeah. saves. So when he gets one of those highlight saves, that's when it becomes of note. Well, and, and Ryan Stanford. Miller too. We haven't really seen anything from Ryan Miller yet nope. this year. And he that, threw, a, <laughs> and that showed exactly oh, what Miller in front of that. That's why people were shopping for him for one year last year. He he still got stock. Yeah. So he's we. So thing. I mean, we're we're down we're down to Ryan Miller, Bobrovsky, Freddie Anderson. I mean. You get, Quick was always right there. Jonathan Quick. <laughs> Can't go glove side on Quick. So, so there's there's your four for uh, for brick wall of the week. Um, I no surprise here. I'm gonna have to go with Bobrovsky. I'm actually gonna tag team that. That was that was just a gorgeous. Uh, you know, all all four of those those saves were amazing. 
Um, there were a lot of good saves. It was it, not not easy, not easy on us this week. But uh, Bobrovsky just the puck squirting out from the p- five hole, and him having the presence of mind and and knowing where he is between the pipes to be able to realize he's got enough time to spin around, and knock that right out. Um, there were a couple honorable mentions for goalie this week. I'm only going to mention one of them. Robert Bertu- Bortuzzo. 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 Just uh, getting right in. Getting right in. Uh, abs- on, his, on his stomach. Arm up. Stops the puck. It was a, ni- it was a nice move. I'll, I'll show you. Glove save. There you go. Try on his arm as he swung back here with Tavares. Look at that. You can't teach that stuff. But uh, there, there, was, there was one other, un- unfortunately. This is the last thing I'm saying about Montreal. <laughs> <sighs> P.K. Subban had a stellar save yeah. in the crease, knocked it out of the air, got it down, and sent it up ice. Shovel it was out. It was perfect gun and clear. Like, I mean, I guess, I guess I can show it to you. Maybe. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And he shakes his head. Yeah, oh, that's over. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, brick wall of the week. Brovrosky. Just absolutely killing it. Um, it's going to be hard to top that next week. Somebody's going to give us something because we're on our material. <laughs> maybe, maybe my boy Crow will step up and maybe. have something uh, impressive. Maybe. But um, big week for uh, Dallas. Pulling away. Pulling away. Calling it. Speed. Yeah, we did. Call we it. Did. Uh, I'm Which, first. yeah, still one month in. Oh, yeah. No, a lot, a lot, a lot of hockey. What though. else are we going to talk about? It's, it's going to be a short week because there's... It just wasn't a whole lot that went on. But I but, tell you uh, this, man. I tell Dallas starting to come together. I I like the fact of they're just doing their jobs. Yeah. Everybody on that team, on those lines, on the ice is producing. From letting it up. It, it's, it, you know, Tyler Sagan, uh, you know, he, he kind of fell off with us, and then he goes over to Dallas and lights it up, and everybody's, kind of, like, a lot of people are sour about that in Boston. Uh, just, you know, why couldn't you play like that for us? He want to play like that, that for us. He went to Dallas, and now he's lighting it up. you got to give him credit. Um, he's leading the league in assists right now. Jamie Benn, um, who's leading the league in both goals and points. Um, just incredible. Yeah, you you got to keep up that play style, Dallas. So make us look reputable and uh, keep playing well. That would That would really help us out. Um, not him, because he's a Blackhawks. See, I can say that, because they're not going to really get in my way. Hey, man. I, <laughs> I called him to go to the Cup, being a Blackhawks fan. So. Yeah, Sad news I for know, in the Blackhawk world, too. Old Bickle getting reassigned. Sucks. I love Brian Bickle, and he is yeah. now playing in the AHL. For Big dude, too. I, I, I do like seeing him play. I'm not exactly like a fan of Brian Bickle, but I do like seeing him on the ice. He's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, granted, he didn't. I think we talked about it week one. They put him on waiver. They tried to put him on waivers before the season started, and uh, there was just no way to do that. Uh, with that being done, uh, they brought up Dango, or Dango. Sorry, uh, they brought Dango up from Rockford because he just he's playing too well in the AHL not to get a shot. Yeah, and that's basically what Keith Stash said too in the interview. He was asked about. He said he's just he just, he needs the right to play right now with yeah. the way he's playing. He goes, but it's really, really tough to tell a guy who's a veteran like Bickle that you're getting reassigned. But as he said, it's part of the business. So it's part of the business. Now, um, I, I made him do the 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 thing about Subban, but unfortunately, we do have to talk about Mo- Mo- Montreal, and I am going to have to actually like help help the conversation along. But uh, I mean, Vancouver absolutely slaughtered him to take a <laughs> take that first loss. Ah, that that was that was a great that was a great. Not in my house. Yeah, yeah, they weren't having it. They weren't having it at all. Uh, that was a good night for Luch. <laughs> yeah, the Kings won that night, and he got to watch Montreal lose to uh, Vancouver. If he was watching, I, I bet he wasn't watching because he was busy actually playing. But um, aside from Vancouver, I mean, who do you see in, in the in the short term taking them down? I mean, somebody's got to put a stop to this. They're pulling away. They got twenty-two points right now. Um. Well, Boston's getting hot. They are. That would be yeah. Tampa I'd like, Bay's moving quick. I'd like yeah. Tampa Bay. Uh, I mean, I'd, as much as I'd love to see it, just for it to be done, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at their schedule to see when they're actually going to play Columbus. Oh, but man. it would be debilitating to get to take yeah. a five-one Columbus <laughs> ass whooping. Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. that would be nuts. Like for, that for would the Blue nuts. Jackets to come out and do what the the Canucks did against them. Well, I, I think, think you nailed it when you said when you mentioned Carey Price earlier. Is uh, yeah, yeah, they pulled ahead, but now there's blood in the water. 
Yeah, you know what I mean. It's time to jump now because, like I said, they got a, they got a strong lead. Um, like I said, they got twenty two points. They're they're way ahead. Someone's gonna put them down now. I know it's only a month in, but this is the time where if you go on a run, you're gonna go on a run and you're gonna pull out ahead. And that's that's. I what mean, you, honestly, you don't they're see playing it. Ottawa tonight, and the Senators are looking great. Well, yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah, that's right. As as of this recording, by the way, but going back to even when I said six zero and one in the, the last seven games, he's playing tonight, so that could change. It could be seven zero and one. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I I actually I would yeah, like. You got like, you've got the halves on Saturday. Yeah, so. yeah, we do. Um, and I would like to see uh, how that game goes because they put a whooping on us. Uh, open tonight. <laughs> That was rough. It was a bad time. So, uh, who who do you who do you think is going to pull away this week? Who, who do you think? Who's your lock for this week? Can't say Blackhawks. I can't say Bruins. I won't say Blackhawks. Won't say Bruins. Honestly, uh, game wise, what we got coming? I think this week is going to be Anaheim's week. Yeah, it, it's time for the Ducks to start playing some real hockey. I mean, they're six points sitting in last place in the Pacific. That's not where they're used to being. Yeah, it's rough, uh, especially. With Anderson playing the way he's playing, I think it's about time for some yeah, that, some people to melt some ice and get pissed off. And, and I mean, you, it's unfortunate when you got your goaltender on fire like that and you're not producing. You know what I mean? That that that's a that's a bit of a kick in the ass. Um, like I'm, it's a totally different situation than they have in Columbus right now. Mm-hmm. Like Columbus, they just this year was going to be a rebuilding year anyway. Yep, they made some moves to get some talent in there with Sod and a couple of different other guys. And they just knew that, like, you know, we're going to go out there and try to be competitive. It's not going to be our year. Where Anaheim, they were going in, oh, well, we didn't move our roster we around too close. much. We were, yeah, we were right there last year. And, you know, they, they had a slow start last season, too. So I think that after this month, it's going to be it's time for Anaheim to turn it on and actually play the hockey that they can play. I could so, agree with that. I can agree with so, that. So uh, that's what I'm going with for this week. The Ducks are going to heat up. Now, I couldn't pick the Bruins. He couldn't pick the Black. But I didn't say I couldn't pick the Black. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I won't. I won't do that we to won't, anybody. We won't. I, won't, I won't do that to anybody. Um, you know what? I, I, you, you mentioned them a second ago. I would like to see the Islanders pull out, pull out some wins. That would that would be nice to get that division pumped up. Um, make it more competitive. Make it more competitive. That's, 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 that's really that's all it is. Point. That's I, all I just, it is. I don't want to see one person run away with the division yeah. ever. Ever. No. It, it, whether, it's, whether it's my division in the Central or the Pacific or the Atlantic or the Metropolitan, like, I don't like when one team just dominates all year and it's like, oh, well, they're... Surefire number one seed for the playoffs. It's like, no, well, yeah, they didn't play anybody. I might get, I might get crapped on for this, but uh, tell me if you agree. I mean, I don't even like my own team running away too far. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh no, I'm hundred percent. I love when like, we start to slip off like three quarters through the season. We go on like a ten game losing streak. It's like, thank God. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't go that far. But I, I understand I the thought process yeah. behind it. Is get it out of the way. You, yeah, you know it. You know it. Yeah, get back in. You know it's coming. You'd rather it come in the middle of the season. I'd rather it happen before playoff, playoff push or anything yep. like that. Um, I understand the thought process behind that. I, I would never wish a ten game losing streak on the Bruins. However. I, I, I get your point, and um, and yeah, I, I can't I can't disagree with that. But I, I like I just like competitiveness. It's one thing to be you know um, flying high in the top of the division, and you know nobody can touch you come playoff time. But that's what makes the playoff push good is everybody's buying for that spot. And if you have that kind of um, um, dispersity, it's a word. Um, you know who's already getting in. There's there's no there's no excitement to the end of the season games. You get eighty so worth. <laughs> it's a way. You get so many games a season that by the end of the season you can kind of get a little burnt out and uh, going into the playoffs. You know you, you're like all right, none of these games matter because so and so is already in. That um, or or when you get to that last push, it's like oh well we've stopped these guys all year and then oh man you and then they you get lost. lost five straight and yeah. you're like oh man now we're looking at a wild card spot rather right. than a seed and right. it's like. You know, so it, it does. It does get to that place where I think it can be a little monotonous. Where, you know, it's like, okay, we played them so many times, we beat them every time. Why, why are we even playing them? You know, and then, and then the hockey gets sloppy and it gets lazy, and nobody really cares. And you're, you're watching third lines do more than first lines. Yeah, and, and you know, save that stuff for the 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 week before and after the All Star break. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> named segue, nice. Yeah, that, uh, uh, yeah 2016 fanfare. Uh, Nashville. Nashville has been named the city for the All-Star break this oh, year. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. That I missed. Yep. January 28th through the 31st will be the 2016 Fanfare in Nashville. Tickets, 20 bucks for adults, $15. Got to live in Nashville to go. 
<laughs> Actually, <laughs> you don't have to live in Nashville. The twenty dollars oh, ticket will only move? get you admission for the day. Every other thing will have it as its own admission price, obviously. But if you are a Nashville season ticket holder, of course, you can have the special preview to different events happening as they set up for the fair. So. Of course, it's going to have the skills competition uh, followed by the All-Star that, game. That I don't hate, though. I, I, I'm giving them crap because of the playoff thing. Yeah, I, I, know, I don't hate the treating the season but, ticket holders because that's just a perky your team getting right, to host and, everything. You and, know, you know, I mean, it's going to be big fair, you know, live music, Nashville, you know, it's country music, it's, you know, music city. But, uh, you know, I mean, whether it's country or whatever, it's Nine still, I mean, it's the NHL is going to bring in. You know, talent. Oh, yeah. They have the money for it. Nashville, obviously, it's a music town. So it's going to be a, a good, entertaining time. I think Nashville is a good place in January. It's not going to be like, you know, weather wise, it'll be pretty temperate. So I think it'll be a good time. If, if you're looking at going out and looking into the All Star break this year, uh, Nashville's a place to go. Excellent city. A um, lot, a lot of fun. I've, I've been in Nashville many times. Enjoyed it. Happy news in the league while we're on it Mikey Babcock, Team Canada, 2016 World Cup. Yeah. So uh, now they got a captain. We got Ed, we got Edmonton captain. Um, what's his name up in Edmonton? Uh, McClellan. McClellan. He's mm-hmm. captain. Tom U.S. McClellan. He's the captain of Team USA. And then we got Babcock, uh, Team Canada. Yep. And so now uh, after they put a captain at the helm, oh, they got to go out and get a goaltender. A lot of rumor floating around Flurry, which I think is a horrible idea. But <laughs> <laughs> you know they took it. They. they they went very uh, covert on naming captain, you know, coach. Right. Uh, so I'd, I'm curious to see how uh, discreet they're going to be about naming off. Because it's always a big deal with their six defensemen. Right. It's always a big deal with their goaltender. Right. And it's always a big deal with their right wing. Right. You know, so it's like throwing that out there. They're going to take Sid the Kid and bring flipping Flurry along for the ride. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. Like, it really did. You were just stumbling all over the place. So, another thing that happened this week. um, After all the good news, here's some sad news. Yeah. Matt Strong. Well, um, sad news if you're a senator fan. Uh, Mark Mark Stone. Mark Mark Stone. uh, Suspended two games. (laughs) After his. uh, (laughs) The bag's gone, man. Yeah. Well, suspended two games, no pay, after his hit on, uh, was it, Lando Fierro? Yep. Uh, right wing for Detroit Red Wings. Uh, if you didn't see the hit, it was, he got a two-minute minor in the game, so they didn't really establish it then, then they were at, if so facto. So, right, yeah. right. But, um, you know, he did his time in the box. Upon review, the board said, nope. Yeah. Two games, no pay. Thirty-seven thousand six hundred and thirty-four dollars and forty cents. Yeah, that last that <laughs> last that last part was really important to me. Yeah, um, yeah, all of that suspended, but it goes like the NHL is doing now with suspensions goes into the emergency player fund, which right. I just think is the most awesome thing. Which we they got do. their first donation from. Um, San Jose. Yeah. Happy Torres. <laughs> Happy yeah. Torres. Yeah, we talked about that earlier in the yeah. year, and so now yeah. it's, you know. By the way, this is the hit. So, you know, not not okay. Not okay. Speaking of big hits and suspensions slash no suspensions, um, no supplementary discipline. None. For Bufflin. Absolutely taking out Brendan Gallagher. <laughs> hey, look, we're back to Montreal. Yeah, this is a happy Montreal. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. You ready for it? You ready for it? You ready for it? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dog, just looks dirty. Looks dirty as hell when you see it the first time. <laughs> But break it down. Yeah, it's it's actually it's actually entirely on Gallagher. Um, Shoulder contact, hip contact first. Arm hip. came up to protect against the stick. And, and, and he established puck yeah, control. Bufflin has, has established puck control. They were racing for the puck on the delay penalty, and Gallagher just didn't brace for the hit coming up against Bufflin. Um, Brian Gallagher, if you can hear this, if you can hear anything right now, but if you can hear this, um, what do you think? Bufflin's like twice your size, dude. Brace for the hit. If you're even looking at him, you better be bracing for a hit. Like, keep your head up, guy. 
since we've been doing Brick Wall of the Week, celebrating all the great saves, we thought, why not do one celebrating all the great goals? We're already agreed. Yeah, we're already agreed on this one. Uh, instead of giving you, like, a bunch of different people and then we'll, you know, bicker back and forth, we're both entirely agreed. Uh, most of the other great goals from this week were the same kind of stuff you normally would see. A lot of top shelves, a lot of dingers. Um, absolutely honorable mention to your boy Taze. I was going to say. Um, his first two goals of the season. Back-to-back back back game-winning game OT goals. D in OT! Whoa! OT! GWD! The first one was a little sloppy with the stabbing through the five-hole. Five hole. Still, that's just making it fit. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm not hating on the goal. Absolutely not hating on the goal. But it wasn't as pretty as a second one, which was just... Right in. And sure. I would say Sorry, my, my honorable mention would be uh, Zucker. Zucker will carry it in, finds his way and scores! Zucker, ten we, seconds yeah. in. Ten seconds in. When, yeah, when right. you're on the yeah. board in less than a minute, yeah. going When, when the puck the drops and immediately it's in the back of the net. You've That's right there. Up. But That's honorable mentions place, aside, the winner is going to be Tyler Ennis. Hands down. Hands down. On the backhand, on his way down, chipped it in. Tyler Ennis made an unbelievable play, falling down. He actually got the puck airborne and was able to deflect it in. Um, literally, hands down. <laughs> yeah, hands down. Uh, behind the net, he's coming around. He 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 didn't get tripped up. He just he, good good puck play, and he went down. And as he's going down, shovels it around Neuverth. Yep. I believe Neuverth, and pfft, in Neuverth didn't even know where like what happened. He's, uh, he's looking at that, going, "Dude, how does that even happen? Like, come on, come on." We like dirty goals. I think we both agreed on that before. We do yeah. like dirty goals, which is why I'm not hating on Taze. Yeah. Stabbing it in like that, you know. Um, pretty goals, they happen all the time, but dirty goals. Oh, that, those are the ones. Play to the horn. Yeah, those, are the, the horn. those are the ones that turn a game around. You know, those are the ones that turn a game around. And uh, Which is still is why I want a rule amending for that headbutt goal to be allowed <laughs> in the Shazzy. records. Like Shazzy uh, headbutting man. in in the playoffs last year. That was you know, the most ethical. Hey, I know it's illegal, but I, 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 when, that, that when, awesome. I, when I saw that, I was rooting for it, too. I totally wanted that to just Just as a fan of things that are awesome, I wanted that to be counted. Yeah, that's, we uh, that's, made it through an good. entire episode. Have we? Oh, uh, without saying Southside 17 a Tango. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, well, presented by Southside South 17. 17 Tango. <laughs> um, and speaking of Southside 17 Tag, I figure we'll, we'll, since we don't have a whole lot more to talk about, we might as well wrap it up with what we do every week, which is we talk about Wednesday Night Rivalry. And God damn it, yet again, we have the Blackhawks hosting the Blues, correct? They are, correct. They yeah. are at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blues at Blackhawks. Blues at Blackhawks. Um, I mean, foolishly, who do you got? I mean, obviously, <laughs> yeah, exactly. obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna take the Blackhawks in exactly. this one. Tay's turning it on, uh, you know. I mean, Kane's working the stick, assist wise, not goal wise, but huh? which is good. Uh, like I mentioned Pan earlier, Pan still, sing, it's still staying strong. Pan Pan still doing his job. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got a uh, Dango up. Mm -hmm. Dango, I keep calling him Dango. Dango, Dango. There's That's an right. N in there. That's right. Um, uh, uh, so he's up, so we'll see. You know, he's got something to prove with Bickle being reassigned. It's like, you know, keep me here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. However, you know, St. Louis, never an easy game with us. They always come to play. Elliot's been great in net, so I don't know if he's going to get the start or not, but if he is, that's who I would go with. Tarasenko had one of the better goals this week as well. Uh, nice uh, two, uh, was a two on one. Yep. And um, I'm going to, you know what, just, just, just to do it, I'm going to pick the Blues. I'm, I'm going to go with the Blues. Um, this is normally where the, the more educated of people and, uh, myself in previous weeks would break down why I picked the blues, but I'll be honest, the only reason I'm picking the blues is because almost every week the Blackhawks have been in, in Wednesday Night Rivalry and we're usually just, um, filleting them a lot. So I'm going to be the odd man out and just, cause at this point, if you're watching this, you've got to be sick about hear, hearing about Chicago, unless you're a Chicago fan then and you're loving it. But to cater to everybody else, yeah, I'll pick the blues. I'll pick the Blues. Well, in, in our defense, I just want to say that's what happens when you win a Stanley Cup. So, quit hating. I know, I know it sucks that we're always in the limelight now, but... I knew that was know, coming. Whoever wins know. this year, that, that'll that be them next year on Wednesday, you know? It's just the team with the Cup gets to play a lot of rivalry games. Yeah, Thank you, NBC Sports. Yeah, that, you know? that is true. That is true. So, 8 so, o'clock, NBC Sports, Southside 17. Southside 17. $5 app, drink specials. Um... It's going to be a great time. We do it we every also, Wednesday. Uh, also, three other games that night. Oh, that's true. Uh, opening, uh, opening game that night is going to be uh, Winnipeg-Toronto. 
So uh, Jets Maple Leafs. It'll be a good little uh, Canadian rivalry game. Yep. So that's yep. a seven o'clock game. I'm taking Winnipeg in that one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take Toronto on that one. Um, you think Babcock's going to ride that uh, coaching high? Uh, yeah, I. And maybe that's the kick he needs. Well, he didn't need a kick going into Toronto. I mean, that no, was the reason they no, went after him. So yeah. I, I guess that's not the right way to put it. But uh, you know, even even last year, the the horribly bad season that Toronto had last year. At some point, they turn it on. I mean, they turn it on at some point every year. You know what I mean? It may not last, <laughs> but you're going to get a couple good games out of them every year. They are still the, the, the mates. So I say with that, too, I also think you can look at it in the same aspect of what I was saying about Anaheim and the Ducks. It's like you're sitting in last spot in your division, six points. When are you going to start playing yeah. hockey? Time to wake up. Time to, Time wake, to up. wake up. First month's so, in. Everybody gets their freebies. Yeah. Still taking Winnipeg. Uh, okay. Game three of the night, uh, which I think actually, as much as I love the Blackhawks, I think this might be the best game to watch Wednesday night, and it is Pittsburgh and Vancouver. Ooh. So I think uh, the, the Canucks and the Pens going at it. Canucks are hot right now, and Pittsburgh needs to light a fire. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Vancouver on that one. No, oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely, Pittsburgh has absolutely taken Vancouver. But I think it's gonna be a really, really good game. I, I think, think it'll be a good game, but I don't think they have a chance of. I winning. think it's gonna be a barn burner. Yeah. I think we're looking like six to five, five to six. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, four it's, seven. Is, it's gonna be a lot of goal scores. It's not gonna especially be especially if Flurry's in net. It's yeah. gonna be an awesome lot of goals. It's not scored. gonna be your grandfather's hockey game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then uh, the, the late game. Uh, like we had mentioned, uh, Anaheim. Yep. So uh, the Ducks are playing the Florida Panthers. So that should be a good stepping stone to get things moving. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's, that's, Florida. No, Panthers. hey, you know what? I, the, I laughed at Florida last week, and then we got we just we ran right through you guys. The Bruins did, which was hilarious. It just confirmed me laughing at you. I, I would have felt horrible if I had laughed at you guys last week, and then Florida had beaten us. That would have been Which is crazy, too, because they're only trailing you by one point. I know. Well, that's because we had that terrible start, uh, but now it's time to swing it around. Yeah, we're both we're both on Anaheim, right? That's the Oh, yeah, absolutely. Both absolutely. Ducks have this. Um, sorry, Panthers, but I really think that they're going to turn it on, and this is their time to spin the wheel. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is what it is. That's yeah. what you need. You need a stepping stone week. So I got the Jets taking on the Mapes. You got the Mapes. I got the Hawks. I'll take you the, the Blues. You got the Blues. And uh, we're both in we're agreement on We're both in agreement on the last two, Vancouver and Anaheim. Yep, and Vancouver. So. Yep. But yeah, the, uh, Wednesday night, Southside 17. Southside 17. $5 specials. Mention the club, Charleston Hockey Club, on Facebook if you haven't liked it. Um, that's surprising because, I, I mean, you can find this video through YouTube, but I'm guessing most of the people watch it through the club. But uh, in case you stumbled upon this and you don't know what it is, um, go on Facebook, type in Charleston Hockey Club. And uh, like it, you know, and then you get this like right on your newsfeed and all, all sorts of good stuff. And I mean, you could totally subscribe to this YouTube channel too. Like, if you wanted to make me like a little bit of happy, or if you see this and this just makes you angry, you should still subscribe because then you'll make him happy. Yeah. Anyway, um, you guys know what you guys know what to do. Um, subscribe, give us a like uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, whatever. I. If you don't like it, thumbs down. I don't know. Anything you guys want to talk about. Comment. Yeah. We want to hear from you guys. We want to hear from everybody in the club. So Running out of material, and if you're sick of hearing about Boston and Chicago, then it's up to you to do something about it. <laughs> we're, we're honestly kind of getting sick. No, we're not. We're not getting sick of talking about no, no. You almost had to do it with a straight face. <laughs> no, I couldn't even. Couldn't even. Um, but, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, go, go on to the Facebook page. Send us uh, some stuff to talk about. Comment it underneath the video on YouTube, or uh, or you can tweet us at there and um yeah we we want to make this interactive you know not just come down to the bar and watch the hockey games we want to hear from you guys that way we but can please do answer. come down to the bar and watch absolutely the and what bar is that done south side 17 at oh Tango. there it is where we have wednesdays and saturday nights five dollar drink specials when you mention the hockey club that is the horn sounding we are done for the week sorry it was short not a whole lot like exciting to talk about Maybe the NHL will give us something next week. And next week, we'll uh, we'll even talk about the Stingrays. So, see you later. My favorite plan is the sun. I once stared at it for over an hour. I'm just curious, I guess. Curious as a cat. That's why my friends, friends call me Whiskers. <laughs>